My, my pleasure. Can you start off by talking to us a little bit about who Sunovations is? Sure. So Sunovations has developed technology uh, for residential solar water heating, and specifically, uh, we're focused on single-family homes here in the U.S. So, Fantastic. Yeah. And what's the where, where, what's the value out of your technology? Sure. So our technology is powered by uh, a passive pump mechanism, which removes all the electromechanical componentry that you find in a typical solar hot water si heating system. So what that ends up meaning is that you get a, a solar hot water system that is uh, at once uh, more cost effective and less expensive for the homeowner because it doesn't have a bunch of stuff and componentry that, that typical solar hot water systems have. Uh, second, it's easier to install for the professional installer, and that's our sales channel. So we're selling through renewable energy professionals. So it's easier for them to install. That also actually drives the, uh, the um, cost reduction for the ha homeowner as well. And then third, it's more reliable because our system just doesn't have a bunch of the componentry that is uh, more the uh, source of most uh, failure points in typical solar hot water systems. So really, we really have invented an a entirely new category of solar water heating system. Solar water heating has been around for a while. Millennia. Yeah, but, but solar water heating systems for the homes really are just starting to penetrate the market. Uh, maybe they might have in the past, but they're, they're, many are starting to see that there's an uptick in the amount of awareness and the amount of uh, impact that, that the technology is really having into the market. What types of, how big is this market for you guys, and, mm -hmm. and where do you guys ultimately want to be? Sure. So that's actually a little bit of a, a misnomer uh, that, that the uh, market isn't there uh, for solar water heating. It is a, indeed a niche market here in the U.S., but actually globally it's an enormous market. In Europe, solar water heating is a $4 billion sector. 5% uh, five, uh, 5 of the homes in Germany have solar hot water. By the way, Germany gets the same amount of sunlight as Alaska does, so it's not because there's anything uh, special about that. Austria, 15% of the homes there have solar water heating. So it's a very ubiquitous technology over there. And it actually used to be a billion dollar sector here in the U.S. back in the late 70s and early 80s. Um, so I think you're, again, going back to the question is, hey, what's, why isn't it a more ubiquitous um, technology here? Well, it's for among the reasons that, that we're addressing right now, which is that, um, that the technology uh, hasn't been perhaps at a price point that's made it uh, competitive to other renewables, um, but also because you know, uh, renewable energy installers, it's, it's, it can be a, a challenging product to, to install. There's some, you know, a little headaches here and there. And so, again, our system is attacking the, those installation challenges, the price point challenges. Um, so generally, we think we've, we've brought a, a technology to market that's a better mousetrap. But the second piece of that equation is that, to be frank, and here in the U.S., the value proposition just has not been very effectively communicated to the homeowner. So the messaging uh, and... Um, the, the marketing approach uh, just has not been uh, up to snuff. The PV sector has done a far better job at, at messaging. And by the way, they've got far more billions of dollars and much larger companies that can throw real resources at it. But also because PV is a technology that homeowners can get their head around. It's like, hey, my home is, is generating electrons. Uh, even though the payback period you know, is measured in, in decades as, as opposed to uh, years, which is the case for solar water heating. So we as an industry have to do a much better job at, at telling the story of solar hot water and why it, it's a, a, um, uh, both a cost-saving as well as a greenhouse and, and gra gas-reducing and carbon footprint-reducing uh, technology. And, and we at Sunovations are, are trying to address that through our marketing collateral, through the way that we work with our channel and the, the type of messaging that we uh, have, have put together. So we've got a, um, you know, a, a, um, you know, some, some work to do still there generally here in the U.S., but absolutely um, there's precedent here in the U.S., there's precedent globally, and uh, we think when, once we get the word out and, and uh, we'll get the word out effectively that, that homeowners will, will indeed make the choice to go uh, solar for their water heating. Is, is it a one-size-fits-all type of solution that you guys are offering, or is it more of a customized uh, value prop for the homeowner? Yep, and so that gets at a, actually another facet of, of what we're trying to do is that uh, quite a few other solar hot water companies and, and water technology companies anyway are moving in the direction of putting more engineering and more bells and whistles on the system. We're moving the exact opposite direction. We think there are, is a standard configuration that, that we um, uh, uh, are include as part of our package that is going to fit 
two-thirds of the, the homes in the U.S. So we're moving, our technology is all about standardization and simplification, which obviously is also driving, uh, is going to drive the cost and the install time and, and complexity. So um, no, there's not a one-size-fits-all, but we do have a standard configuration and standard setup that we think that, that, that fits most homes. And what, what will, what, how much power where will the solution generate? And mm -hmm. what's a typical cost for you know, the homeowner that's interested? Yep, that's one of the interesting things. Again, we're, is that uh, solar thermal collectors very much look like PV collectors. They're they're you know big flat panels that that sit on the the roof of your home. Uh, two solar thermal collectors generate as much power and and and. Uh, capture as much solar energy as 10 PV collectors. So they are five times as effective at, at turning solar energy into work. So PV panels are only you know, 15, or, uh, 13, 15 percent efficient at turning PV, uh, um, photons into, in, into uh, electrons, whereas solar thermal collectors are 65 percent efficient, efficient at uh, uh, turning solar energy into work. So. Um, the technology is very efficient at, at using solar energy. So the entry price point for a solar hot water system, um, historically in the U.S. or maybe in the East Coast where we are, is around nine, ten thousand dollars without incentives. Our system is is at least twenty, twenty-five percent less than that. And when you factor in incentives in some of the states that we're in, you can buy a solar hot water system in Pennsylvania for twenty-five hundred bucks, given all the incentives that are available to homeowners in Pennsylvania, Maryland, a very similar story. D.C. has very attractive um, uh, incentives. North Carolina does as well. All, those are all states where Sun Evasions is currently available. One of the things that could uh, scare some folks is it gets installed. Are they getting anything different? I mean, is it still a yeah. hot water heater? I mean, or is the technology of the water heater any different? Yeah. Are they going to have to? Is the homeowner now going to have to know that that gets a whole to new different maintenance so that, solutions? Yeah. 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 Uh, that gets to uh, part of the uh, the marketing message and 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 and, uh, and clarifying and simplifying the message for the homeowner. And in our mind, anyway, solar water heating companies and actually renewable energy installers. Um, haven't been that great at knocking off the easy questions. First of all, will I have hot water when it's cloudy or during the winter time? Yes, you will. Solar hot water systems are hybrid powered, meaning that there's always a backup uh, heating element uh, to the systems that, that we sell. In fact, the, the, the water tank that you buy as part of a solar water heating system has the exact same uh, heating characteristics and performance that a regular tank does. So literally, you're getting more capacity uh, than you would otherwise, and so you, you're probably going to have actually more hot water than uh, than you would with a uh, regular water heating system because you've got more capacity, and again, it's get being preheated by the sun. Are you finding that the customer is more interested in the return on investment, or they're more interested in saving the environment? So that the initial hook is always about the environment, and, and, and the homeowner is always wanting to to look at ways to to mitigate their their, their carbon footprint, um, but. What, in, particularly again in this economic climate, uh, the, the the hook is on the environment, but the sale is made on on the cost saving, and that that that's got to be part of the the, the, uh, the 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 message, but also the reality of, of uh, whether the economics work for the homeowner, uh, and that's just kind of where we are in, 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 from an an, ac an economy standpoint, and what the the homeowner is willing to pay for. Final question, and this is a little more personal than about the business, and that is, why do you do what you do? Yep. So uh, this is my second go around in a startup. I was in the telecom the telecom space back a, a decade ago, and I uh, two things are motivating me uh, here. One is very much a passion around the sector and, and wanting to contribute to and being a part of the solution. Uh, I could talk more about uh, you know what the, the environmental and, 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 and motivations there are, but from an as an entrepreneurial. Uh, um, uh, motivator and, and motivating factor. There's nothing more that I like to do, and personally, uh, to, is to get involved with an opportunity where that's a, that's a piece of clay and, and 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 turn it into something. And I think that everybody here that's at the NREL conference, uh, every entrepreneur really uh, is 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 motivated by that. Otherwise, you wouldn't make the sacrifice and, and wouldn't uh, perhaps uh, fight through the, uh, the, the the skeptics and the naysayers that uh, every entrepreneur has to fight through. Yeah, my, my pleasure. Thank you, Ben.